beginning on January 1, 2007, professional growth requirements for the renewal of professional clear credentials for teachers are no longer required. The legislation repealed the requirement for teachers to participate in 150 hours of professional growth. Instead, statute was enacted confirming the legislature's recognition that effective professional growth must continue to occur throughout the careers of all teachers so they remain informed of changes in subject matter and pupil needs. As a result, teachers have the option to participate and enroll on their own time in professional growth programs as a method for improving their teaching skills and enhancing their classroom environment. Professional growth programs consist of activities that are aligned with the California standards for the teaching profession. The CSTP was established by the California Commission on Teacher Credentialing and the California Department of Education in 1997. Assembly, one, Assembly Bill 1 specifically highlights that teachers, as a part as a part of participating in professional growth programs have the option to enroll in courses including negotiation, mediation, and conflict resolution. These programs might include components such as basic negotiation, communication skills, basic mediation and peer mediation training, as well as the theory and practice of nonviolence and peace building. Today's teachers often find themselves confronting societal pressures and stresses manifest in the classroom. Diversity in student population, conflict at home, and bullying by student peers represent examples of conflict that directly or indirectly confront teachers on a daily basis. Additionally, students face an array of conflict and negotiations in virtually all of life's arenas, at home, in school, in employment settings, and in social groupings. Providing teachers with enhanced skills to address conflict in the classroom or on the schoolyard, as well as providing the tools for the introduction of negotiation and mediation skills to students through already established curriculum will inure to the safety of our schools as well as to the promotion of a culture of principled conflict resolution practice.